an incumbent returning from injury, a newly signed veteran linebacker, and a rookie whose athleticism is simply off the charts. Our training camp battle series continues with the linebacker position here on the Canal Street Chronicles. While this is always going to be an interesting position to watch here in training camp, especially after the Saints traded up to draft Wisconsin linebacker Zach Bond in the third round, it got all the more interesting when the Saints went out and added another veteran linebacker in free agency. The three linebackers that we're going to be discussing during this piece are going to be Zach Bond, the rookie out of Wisconsin, the newly signed Nigel Bradham, formerly of the Philadelphia Eagles, as well as the Buffalo Bills, and Saints linebacker Kiko Alonso, who they traded for and pulled in from the Miami Dolphins ahead of last season. Let's start with the young guy, Zach Bond. Zach Bond was extremely effective as a pass rusher at Wisconsin, playing that 3-4 edge defender role. However, him being a little under undersized at six foot two, just 238 when he measured in at the combine might mean that he has to make a little bit of an adjustment coming here into the NFL. However, as we said, he was effective as a pass rusher at Wisconsin, 12 and a half sacks and 19 tackles for a loss. The guy was all over the place, terrorizing the backfield and being incredibly disruptive during his time with the Badgers. Now, he did have some issues with his size, getting taken advantage of in times where he was caught coming off of his feet or caught in a double team, but I think that you're going to see his role adjust a bit here in the NFL, and the coaching staff for the New Orleans Saints has certainly alluded to that as well, mentioning that they're looking at him with a potential potential shift to an off-ball 4-3 linebacker role, specifically mentioning the Sam linebacker as well as the Mike linebacker positions. A little hard to see him move into the Mike spot right now this offseason considering how truncated it is and the fact that it's not an actual training camp. Not really enough time to learn all those calls and checks and how to communicate with the defense, but certainly that Sam linebacker position could be effective for him. He was effective as a run defender as well while he was at Wisconsin and certainly has shown a penchant in his small sample size to be a good coverage linebacker as well, allowing only 112 yards on 195 coverage snaps over the last two seasons, 2018 and 2019, with the Badgers. For reference, if you look at the NFL linebackers in 2019 that played between 175 coverage snaps and 215, which is effectively either 20 less or 20 more than Zach Bond's two-year total with 195 at Wisconsin, those linebackers on average allowed 190 receiving yards this past season and 11 yards per catch. Meanwhile, Zach Bond allowed just barely over half a yard per catch while in coverage. So there's no shock in terms of what it is that the coaching staff sees in Zach Bond as a potential coverage linebacker, even though he was a pass rush specialist at Wisconsin. So it makes sense to expect him to serve a role that's more of an off-ball linebacker position, but that allows him to be maybe a situational or designated pass rusher on third downs. That's something else that the Saints coaching staff has alluded to in the past or in their press conferences before as well. Not to mention that the Saints have some pretty quality edge rushers already with Cam Jordan and Marcus Davenport, who vows that he wants to be better than Cam Jordan as quickly as possible. Of the two off-ball linebacker roles that make the most sense for Zach Bond, it would of course be that Sam linebacker role. He can drop back in coverage every now and then. He can rush the passer just like A.J. Klein did from the position last year in 2019 for the Saints as well. And it allow him to make plays in the run game, essentially assigning him to a C-ball, get-ball type of play style. He's got the range. He's got the athleticism to make plays on the backside of the offense and also has the football IQ to diagnose quickly and get in into the backfield to make those stops. He certainly showed that when he was playing alongside uh, Chris Orr and other Badgers over on that Wisconsin defense. And as far as I'm concerned, that transition just got a little bit easier for Zach Bond because, and for the Saints for that matter, because of their recent signing here. After tight ends Cole Wick and Jason Vandalon opted out of the 2020 season, the Saints went out and signed wide receiver Benny Fowler, but also brought in linebacker, veteran linebacker Nigel Bradham, formerly of the Eagles and Buffalo Bills. He has played everywhere (laughs) along that second level, playing as a strong side linebacker with the Bills before transitioning over to uh, more of a Mike and Will role. He filled in at the Mike role for the Philadelphia Eagles once Jordan Hicks got hurt and essentially stayed there for the most part while still getting his hands dirty as a Will linebacker in coverage. He's a fantastic coverage linebacker and we've seen that throughout his entire career so far. It doesn't hurt though that he grades similarly in the run game as former starting linebacker for the Saints, AJ Klein and even Alex Anzalone. However, his standout 
breakout role is really as a coverage linebacker, allowing only 0.75 yards per target in 2019, where he ranked tied for sixth among linebackers with more than 300 coverage snaps, according to Pro Football Focus. During that, he was tied with Demario Davis. He also allowed the 10th lowest passer rating when targeted and the sixth fewest yards among that same group. It makes sense that Bradham could potentially push Kiko Alonso for that starting Sam linebacker role if he performs well in camp, but he may not have to considering that Kiko Alonso is still recovering from his ACL injury. He's on the physically unable to perform list. And so there's a potential that he might not be ready for week one. But if that happens to be the case, the Saints don't end up in the same type of situation that they were in last season, because now they actually have some formidable depth and starting quality depth back there behind a guy like Kiko Alonso with Nigel Bradham here. Alonso was also very underrated in coverage, not known for his work in the passing game throughout his career, but a solid 2019 best coverage grade of his career and allowed only 11 receptions for 74 yards on 153 passing snaps, added a pass break up to that as well. So the Saints finally have enough veteran presence to cover themselves in case of injury and may need to do so sooner rather than later, depending upon the health factor that is Kiko Alonso and getting started with the season. But with Nigel Bradham in the building, and some young talent like Caden Ellis, as well as Zach Bond, surrounded by guys that have been in the system for a while, like Demario Davis and Alex Anzalone. The Saints second level may be in the best condition it's been in quite a while. So tell us below who it is that you want to see lining up beside Demario Davis at that linebacker role. Is it the young, exciting rookie Zach Bond, the newly signed veteran Nigel Bradham, or the incumbent Kiko Alonso? Either way, the Saints finally have some depth there and should be in good shape to start off the 2020 year. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as we continue to go through our training camp series here on the Canal Street Chronicles.